Starting off at the number 5 spot of the best ultra budget gaming mouse pads for FPS is the glorious large gaming mouse pad coming in at a price tag of $19.99 but pretty typically on sale for 50% off so around 10 bucks which is insane. If you want to check out any of the five mouse pads in this video, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. But let's talk about the glorious. All right. Firstly, this comes packaged rolled up and is pretty easy to roll flat. So that is a good thing. But what about the performance? Let's talk about it. This is definitely the fastest pad on the list. Now, the surface is a bit rough to the hand. However, the glide is very smooth on your mouse. And again, it does have that speed here. I don't want to make this sound like this is an ultra fast pad, but it is just the fastest pad on the list. Stopping power is also the least on the list, which you would expect being faster pad. So it is kind of easier to overshoot targets if you're more used to a more aggressive stopping power on another mouse pad. However, if you want the ultimate speed as cheap as possible with the longevity, this is a great pad and it still performs very well. I actually gamed on this for quite a while when I didn't have as much, well, disposable income to then spend on products. Now, as for control, this is lacking a little bit since it's aimed at speed, but again, beggars can't be choosers depending on what they want, good price point. You don't feel as locked in as some of the other mouse pads on this list, so the smaller movements are harder to be precise in. Now, for the size, this is the $10 one or $10 at the time of filming, is 11 inches by 13 inches and is two millimeters thick. But this does get as big as 48 inches by 24 inches, so there is also a bigger option, but obviously not at that crazy ultra budget price point. Now, one of the biggest pros of this pad and the reason that it definitely made it on the list is while being a solid faster pad, the build quality is a huge selling point. This is your standard cloth surface with a small glorious logo in the bottom right hand corner. You have your non-slip rubber base and you get nice stitched edges here. So if you want something that you're not gonna have to spend very much money on, it's gonna feel a lot more premium because it has the stitch edges. But the big thing is this will last you a really, really long time. The build quality of this, it can go through many washes, no problem. So great build quality here. But with that, let's move on to the number four spot, which is kind of an interesting one. The Akka XL topographical mouse pad coming in at a price tag of $35, but pretty normally on sale for around $25.99. I think that's what it is at the time of filming. Now, as far as packaging, this does come rolled up, but it's pretty easy to get it to lay flat. Now, the performance here is surprisingly good. It has a smooth glide and it has quite a bit of stopping power and it is very, very cheap for the huge size. So if you're looking for a desk pad, it's the only one on the list that is a really, really low price point. This is great. I will also say all of the other mouse pads on the list do not go over $10. So we're keeping it true ultra budget. Now, as for speed, this is a bit of a slower and more control pad. That being said, even though it is on the slower side, it doesn't feel muddy or sluggish. So if you are someone who likes more resistance, this would be absolutely great for you. Now for control, like I said before, it is great here. This is definitely a control centered pad. Small movements and slow tracking from long distances are very precise. Sniping with this mouse pad is also really enjoyable. This is not a crazy slow sluggish mouse pad though I don't want it to seem like that, this definitely is in that middle ground where most people can use it, but if it's gonna lean to one side, it's gonna lean to the slower side. Now, as for the size, this is 17 inches by 35 inches and it's three millimeters thick. That size and obviously the design, which is a huge selling point for this pad. Personally, I think it looks fantastic, especially for the price. Very, very cheap, inexpensive and a great design, crisp lines. All right, now for the build, this is a polyester cloth surface with a topographical design. That's what I love. And it's got that non-slip rubber base on the bottom that does its job well, as you would also expect because it's so large, it's definitely not gonna move. Also, this does have stitched edges. For the price, you're getting a huge mouse pad, a desk mat really, and then you're getting stitched edges and a pretty good surface. That is pretty insane. But with that, let's move on to the number three spot, which is the Logitech G240, coming in at a price tag of $9.97. Yes, fantastic price point. Now, as far as packaging, this came rolled up. It was very easy to be rolled flat due to the very thin nature of this pad. This is a very thin mouse pad. Now for performance here, this is medium fast in terms of glide. It has a smooth texture, although since this is so thin, you can feel the pattern of like the bottom of the rubber, which is kind of like a sideways lines, if that makes sense, like angled lines. So you can kind of feel that when moving your mouse. This isn't a problem for me, but it is definitely something to note. As for stopping power, this has great stopping power. Fast whips stop and lock into place, and it doesn't take much effort to get the mouse moving again, which 
I found to be a really, really enjoyable gaming experience overall. Control here is good. It is easy to correct small movements and isn't sluggish feeling. I enjoyed medium to close range sniping here, more of like marksman rifles and then secondary SMG. Uh, things like that worked really, really good here. That being said, anyone can pick this mouse pad up and use it. It is definitely a very middle ground mouse pad. I would be very comfortable recommending this to basically everyone if you're not quite sure what mouse pad or what glide or what even is control. If you don't even know what any of that means, this is a great one that I would definitely recommend. Now as for the size, I have the medium, which is 13.4 inches by 11 inches and is super thin being only one millimeter thick. I mean, that's, it just kind of, it's flowy. It's nice though, it works. This also comes in large and extra large sizes. As for the build, this is a cloth surface with a Logitech logo in the bottom right corner that is textured, kind of a zonk, but not a big deal. No stitch edges here and a traditional non-slip rubber base that does its job, but nothing fancy here. It's fairly thin, but it works well. It's a great all around pad. But with that, let's move on to the number two spot, which is the Steel Series Quick. Coming in at a price tag of $19.99. This comes packaged rolled up and is definitely a little bit harder to roll out. Now for the performance, this is a smooth, even glide with a very slight texture. This is on the slower side and more focused on control. It also has a lot of stopping power, especially if you press down on the mouse pad, kind of pressing it in, it's definitely going to increase that stopping power quite a bit. There is more resistance when getting the mouse to move again. So if you do play at a super low DPI, this may be a little cumbersome. I play at really 600 to 800 DPI, typically on 1440p panels, but if you play closer to 400, you might want a slightly faster pad, but across the board, that's totally up to personal preference, so you'll have to be the one to decide that for yourself. However, this doesn't have the more sluggish, dense feel that the SteelSeries Quick Heavy had, which is definitely more control focused. I really did like that pad actually quite a bit, However, if you wanna live with a single mouse pad, you just wanna buy one and leave it on your desk, you better make sure that you like control if you're going for something like the Quick Heavy. This one, it's gonna be pretty much okay, but if you are someone who wants a little bit more of a middle ground, I would probably recommend the Logitech or the number one spot. Now this has great control. Small movements and corrections are precise as we would expect from a pad like this. Long range sniping with this mouse pad is really enjoyable while also having great tracking with enemies and faster play styles, but not quite as good as I would say the Logitech. Now I have the medium, which is 12.6 inches by 10.8 inches and is two millimeters thick. There's also a ton of different sizes. So check the links below uh, if you wanna check out different sizes, but obviously for the $10 one, that is gonna be just the medium size. Now for the build, the surface is a micro woven cloth with a white steel series logo in the bottom right. Then there is a non-slip rubber base with the Steel Series logos just all over it, which is kind of cool, but there's no stitched edges here. But with that, let's move on to the number one best ultra budget gaming mouse pad for FPS. You guys can already probably guess what it is. This is the Razer Gigantus V2, coming in at a price tag of $9.99. They did actually drop the price just a little bit ago. Now this does come rolled up, but it unrolls very easily without any curls on the edges, which is nice. Now for performance here, the only real issue with this pad, besides it being really, really good, is that it has a little bit more drag going up and down than side to side. Now, this doesn't personally bother me, but uh, some people it might really, really bother them. However, it has really good stopping power. The mouse locks into place easily with fast whips. If stopping power is something that you want, this mouse pad has a ton, but you do have to fight against it sometimes, which is not necessarily a bad thing. If you are a very whippy, uh, I think they call it spazzy now, a spazzy player, this is absolutely fantastic. I go ham in 2042 with this mouse pad. I love it. For the price, this is really competing with significantly more expensive mouse pads. And I think it's honestly one of the most underrated ones uh, probably in the market right now. I'm incredibly accurate with this mouse pad during more fast whippy play styles. It's just very great. It's just locking into place. Now it's got good control. It's easy to correct small movements with precision without the mouse pad feeling sticky. Now for the size, I have the medium, which is the smallest. And this measures in at 14.2 inches by 10.6 inches and is three millimeters thick. It's also available in large XXL and 3XL, which goes all the way up to 47.24 inches by 21.65 
35 inches. That is a lot of inches. For the build, this is a textured micro weave cloth surface. It's got that foam rubber base with that cool like green razory hexagon pattern in the bottom. You don't get any stitch edges here, but you do get a nice little razor logo tag stitched in the top right corner. Overall, the Razer Gigantis V2 is probably the best ultra budget gaming mouse pad you can buy for FPS. Again, if you want to check out any of the five mouse pads in this video, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. Or if you're like, hey, this is great, but I have more money to spend. Maybe I don't want an ultra budget one. Well, check out that video right there, which I think the Razer Gigantis is in. Uh, because it's so freaking good anyway. So the Razor Gigantis, I really like it. All right, this is Consumer Tech Review, and I'll see you guys in the next video.